Working on a research vessel can be inspiring. When you're on the back deck of a ship and you look out at the ocean, you realise that the world is a massive place and you are just a little part of it. You're right there, you can see the beauty of the ocean, you can see how it changes from one day to another. It's really a wonderful experience. You get to see a lot of the world, pursue your passions, whether that be in technology or science. And you can form lifelong friendships. What I really enjoy is that everybody is working together, mariners, techs and scientists, towards that shared endeavour to give the best science that we possibly can. It really brings ocean science to life. The most successful cruises I've been on are those where we have a really diverse team. Research ships uh, offer us a great opportunity for international collaboration. We're trying to do something that's for the world and actually having that perspective is very important. Working on a research vessel can be very intense. The crew and the scientists can be at sea for months on end. If I'm having a difficult time, I don't have anywhere else to go. I'm still on the ship. There are challenges and those are often around the way people treat you. Everyone should feel respected for the role they play and what they bring to the team. And so it's really key that we make sure they feel comfortable. There are several factors in making your workplace comfortable for everyone. So we need to create an environment where people feel safe. All staff needs to be valued, respected. It's where we live and work and so it's important to have boundaries. It's not okay to exclude me from a research ship because you're not comfortable with my gender, race or sexuality. But it is okay to offer births on ships to the most qualified people. It is not okay to assume that I got my place on the research ship for any other reason than my professional ability. It's okay to ask me about my work and how I came to be here. It is not okay to alienate me because I might not want to join in certain social activities. It's not okay to alienate me because I might not be as outgoing as you. It's okay to feel a little overwhelmed at times and want some time to myself. It's not okay to bully or exclude me because you don't relate to me. But it is okay to be supportive if you see me or someone else being bullied. It's not okay to patronise me or to assume I don't understand something technical because of my gender. It is okay to show me how to use equipment safely and correctly in a respectful way. It's not okay to criticise me in front of colleagues and crew and scream and shout at me because you're not happy with the way I'm doing something. But it is okay to discuss any work-related issues that you may have in a constructive way. There may be valid reasons for my approach. It is not okay to joke or comment about my sexuality. You cannot really expect that I will be okay with that. But it is okay to talk to me about my life choices and how I feel. It's not okay to follow me around the ship or into confined spaces. It's not okay for you to touch me, kiss me or ask me to have sex with you. It is okay to ask about my work or my interests or get to know me in a respectful way. It's not okay to ignore somebody's behaviour if they're harassing me or to think it's not a big deal and it's just a bit of fun. It's not okay to assume I'm okay with that. It is okay to ask me if somebody is bothering me and to offer support. It is not okay to laugh at me or get frustrated with me because I don't speak your language perfectly. But it is okay to ask me how many languages I speak or help me with my pronunciation. It's not okay to treat me badly because you think I am different than you. It is okay to talk to me. You might find that we're not that different. We all have to respect each other's boundaries and differences. We all need to feel safe and respected on board. Really, it's simple. It's just about respect. 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 Respect.